Jerry Park. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the final edition of the Pat Jones Show for the 1991 season. Cowboys at home for the final game against Kansas State, albeit in a 36-26 loss. But, Coach, it seems like it typified the season. Oklahoma State football players never gave up all year long. In this game, they were battling to the end. Well, I think it does. I, I know in visiting with some of the media people this morning, Jerry, that, uh, yeah, it was kind of like the way the whole thing has gone. I, I didn't really think we played particularly well, and there's some things that – that I don't like to see on the same hand. Yeah, I, I got to give us some credit on certain things. You know, Denson had the 100-yard rush day. And Gildon sets or breaks O'Neill's sack record for a single season. And, and I think we did battle away. Uh, you know, I guess if somebody sees this thing glittering around <laughs> yeah. on, the, on the camera, that is just right next to the Gator Bowl ring where I got my finger dislocated on the sideline. But, no, no, I think it was just about the way the, the whole thing went. We'll talk about a lot of things as we go through and at the end. But... Yeah, got some things done, shot ourselves in the foot enough to keep us from winning. We'll take a look at the first quarter action uh, and the uh, 10 seniors that finally graduated from Oklahoma State University when the Pat Jones Show continues after these messages. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show. The final game at Lewis Field for the Oklahoma State Cowboys against Kansas State University. And as we begin the highlights, Pat, they introduced each of the 10 seniors, and it's been a very good senior class. Well, again, interestingly enough, I, I had not put up as Robert Kirksey, who, again, I don't know what other records he established, and there's Big Satter White with still got a, something on his bandage on his elbow and all that. But I think of those 10 guys, Jerry, maybe with one exception, uh, they're all going to receive their degree either at midterm or, at the, or, or in May. Uh, okay, now when was a factor. They won deferred. We elected to give them another possession and, and take the win. Now, again, on the same hand, we hit a short kickoff and couldn't get them back. Well, actually, uh, Greg Williams made a good play back inside the 20. Uh, some third down stuff gave us some problems here. Here's Watson. You can see he's got running ability. They called that a late hit. Uh, debatable, but again, they called it, so it was a penalty. Uh, some third down stuff gave us some problems, and we'd battle around pretty good on the run. Then they had hit a cracker. He'd make a scramble. But again, uh, uh, there's a draw, and, and these guys have got quite a few weapons, and again, at, at this stage of the season, uh, they've remained fairly healthy, and, and they could do some things. We were trying to play some man under. And, we threw and, a lot to the tight end. Well, we, we had done a pretty good job of taking Smith, the one receiver, away from him with some things. But Watson, the people that saw the ball game, it's hard to tell here on this replay, but you could tell that Watson, the K-State quarterback, was really doing a good job of check into different things. Again, we were showing him some things and coming out of it, but uh, he did a real good job of taking what what we were giving him. And Now again, we had enough of this. Here's a replay of, of Satter White, and they tried to trap us, and Carlos Irving and those guys around in there, but uh, he did a real good job, uh, again, of, of picking us on certain things. And we'd get him into a third down, third and seven, third and six type deal, and he'd be able to hit one. Uh, again, which didn't t did not totally surprise me. I felt like if, if they were on throwing and catching. This an example. And, well, watch that right there. You bet. I mean, they got it right down in a crack. And there were some – I had some matchup concerns going in. There wasn't really anything necessarily we could do about it. But uh, Kansas State goes ahead. Oklahoma State 7 nothing. A good drive right off to get. Uh, but, again, I, I won't say that totally surprised me if they were pretty hot throwing and catching. Now, they're kicking it. Well, we were lucky right here. That ball – you know, hit right in a void area, mm -hmm. and, and with the wind, it was the wind was really. You come out throwing. Yeah, well, we, we were doing some stuff actually, Jerry, where run pass either or sort of thing, and he's seeing some things to at certain times to trigger some throwing game. Again, run the fullback and get nothing out of it. I I did not have a, a real good feeling necessarily early on. It would come out here on a sprint out, a uh, good throw and catch to, to Kirksey for a first down here. If, again, for the people that saw it, they were doing some jockeying around on some things. They were, they were, they were their defensive unit is, 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 is a pretty veteran crew, and, and again, I won't say a great unit, but not, not, not all that bad, or pretty good, by the way. But they were giving us some problems, giving us a little bit of a different look and coming out of it. And we, I, I don't know whether it'll show up here. We were doing some two-play stuff to them because they had some problems getting lined up. Sprint out, uh, Kenny keeps the ball and, and doesn't make anything. Um, Okay, here we're coming back. Now, they blitzed, and we had the right combination of stuff going uh, and, and couldn't get hooked up on it. You know, Vincent comes in, and 
and, and punts the ball. And, and again, I, I don't think he had a particularly good day. We touched it. But uh, again, now we're going down the ball, uh, thereabouts on the 20-yard line. Uh, defensively, I, I thought we, we, again, continued to battle pretty good. Uh, they hit some cracks on some draws and quarterback draws. It's a big defensive play, Satterwhite. Yeah, here. again, Satterwhite right here. And, uh, it's been for four years we've sat here and talked about <clears throat> what Stacy Satterwhite does, has done, and is capable of doing, and really what he's all about. And people probably get sick of me saying that, but I'm going to anyway because the guy's really a first-class individual. There he is making the play right there. And, okay, we, we forced the punt, had a block on ourselves and, and couldn't get to it. Uh, he hit it, starts ricocheting around. Burt's kind of a fearless little devil, to say the least. And uh, he fielded that one, started back upfield. But as we can see, again, Burt had a heck of a ball. You can see, you see them bringing some people kind of at the last moment. Uh, we had, again, what we thought we wanted and couldn't get it in a seam. Okay, here's the same thing right there. And, you know, again, that's not easy to throw, execute and throw and catch, but on the same hand, you've got to do it. See, they bring this guy all the way around from the back side. And, uh, here, Robert got busted pretty good there. All right, here again, we're forced to punt. I thought it was, again, we've got the wind at our back down in here, on, uh, and we couldn't really get anything going offensively. Uh, I, I thought our coverage units did a decent job. I don't think we really handled the wind with our kickers very well at all. With the wind, we should have gotten more production out of them. Okay, here's Watson now going back to throwing in completion. Uh, but again, I, this, this guy is, is, is really, really in my opinion, probably had the best year. I'm not saying he's the most talented player at the quarterback position in this league, but I think he's had the best year of anybody. Again, his mobility and, and arm strength and this sort of stuff. Here, of course, Campbell is the tight end, is a, a veteran guy who's big, been around, big, big tall target. Okay, again, like here's Gallion on a, on a draw. Uh, again, Funches and crew. When they can start hitting that thing down the seams, now they're going to get you on, on your heels and uh, he's, it's, well, you know, they had us there. But again, there was some matchup stuff that quite honestly, we just simply don't have the personnel to do really anything about at this point, which had concerned us going in. You gotta hope he's gonna make some bad throws or maybe get confused, and, and he didn't get confused very often. Draw play and the guy stumbles and falls, but they're on our side of the 20 again. Here he comes out with play action. Good job, Gildon. Forced the overthrow there to, to uh, Campbell. Again, we've talked about Gildon and what he got established. Boom, big hit. I really thought probably as much as at any time this season, uh, Clark was re really showed up with this kind of stuff right there. That's a way to get that ball out of there. Okay, they come in and- They have to settle for a field yeah, goal. Yeah, and they, again, they've driven it down there, but we at least held them to a field goal. I thought we were kind of gaining a little bit of momentum defensively from a standpoint that, that obviously we did get them stopped. It's 10 nothing. You can see they hit a squib into the wind. Mark Williams feels the ball. Uh, gets a little bit up the field. So we're going to have decent field position down in here. I come out and try to run the tall sweep, uh, get nothing out of it here. All right, now we come back, play action. You can see they got they, uh, Kenny, I thought he overthrew this one. Obviously, we were trying to get him loosened up a little bit and trying to go deep on the thing. Now we're trying to move him around and get him out from under the rush. Good throw and catch here. Uh, Mark Cheatwood, Mark again, who, who, can, who continues to have a, a real good uh, – Redshirt freshman year. Okay, Vincent comes in, and, and you know, and I guess you can consider that a punt. That's probably debatable. But uh, again, the guy feels it, and we've got him down in here. Our coverage units did a pretty good job. Again, I was not pleased at all. Uh, we we to win one, we had to do a better job of punting, particularly when we were going with the wind. They run the ball, no real gain right in there. So again, we're with the first quarter's winding down. You know, we're playing. We're we're behind ten to nothing. We'll be back with second quarter action, Oklahoma State and Kansas State, when the Pat Jones Show continues in a couple of minutes. Oklahoma State and Kansas State. The Wildcats leading 10-0 beginning the second quarter. The teams uh, change ends of the field, and now Kansas State has the win. You can see, by the way, those two flags are blowing. The wind is obviously a factor. Okay, here he comes back. Boom, throws right down in there. and Tight end again. Tight end again, and, and again, it... it he did a, and I've said this before, I said earlier, I mean, he did a good job of finding the guy. But uh, you know, when you got this kind of throwing game, you're veteran enough to sit down in a hole. There are going to be holes in any zone coverage. But when you, when you know enough to, to sit down in there, you got a real chance. Now, that's the way you stop some of that right there. Good hit. I think who was that, Harmon then? Scott Harmon. Okay, run the draw and bounce it to the outside. 
Uh, yeah, we're yeah, we're getting after the ball. Here's one you're going to be though. interested is this in. This one is this one. This is the one where you uh, hurt okay, your finger. Okay, okay. Uh, come on, Gaines. I, somebody hit him. What's big old 99? He's going to. Hell, I couldn't get out the way there. Yeah, that. Okay, there it goes. Should just gone ahead and hit somebody in the head. I guess off they are going to replay it here. Yeah, yeah. This is marvelous. I'm sure here we could have. <clears throat> Good defensive pressure. Well, here. it is. I thought that. Okay, Gaines, jump over there. There's 284 pounds, and then Watson trying to bore down on. Coach Jones and company, and uh, you know, they, I was again. I, I was just kind of tickled to see us stop him and punt. That guy probably watching me grimace on the sidelines, put a towel in my mouth, and say, "Get my finger straightened back out." But uh, we've got the ball now, backed up, going into the wind. Okay, and could never really, until the latter stages of the game, establish anything in the running game, uh, which is makes it real tough on us there. Boy, we got lucky here in this. Kenny Ford had been hurt, and, and Scott was in. For yeah, play. okay. They they brought the guy all the way around from the outside, and and, and it did a good job of disguising some things. I will say that hit Smith right. I think that's Smith up there to the right uh, to the five yard line. Okay, here they go run again. Good, really good looking play here by Jason Gildon. Good looking play by Gildon again. I think Gildon continued to play well. Same play again. Gildon had a little stunt going on inside. They turn Gildon loose. Good play. Again, the guy and guy's just really scratching the surface. You like that one, you're going to love this one. Yeah, okay. Well, another, it's back to back. There's Gildon again. He's going to see a replay of it again. Uh, you know, I, you know, I've said repeatedly, as this guy gets better and matures and, and does things, he, he can really, really make plays. Uh, I mean, very much so make plays. They have to settle for a field goal. Well, again, and, and, and Rack comes in. He missed a couple here later on. He's been a little bit up and down kicking for them this year, but you know, after that turnover, considering they had the ball off down in there, we held them without a first down. Okay, sweep to Denson, absolutely nothing. Uh, okay, turn around, run it, run Denson again. Hits a little bit of a crack in here. Uh, got some things going. All right, run the uh, fullback Franks. Again, doing a pretty good job of moving the pile. Uh, you know, again, it's iffy at best sometimes with us throwing the ball, let alone into this kind of wind. There's Berrien. Uh, okay, come back, uh, yeah, run him again. You know, making a little bit. We're just kind of trying to play smash ball here. All right, Vincent comes in and he gets this ball away and he's putting into a pretty stiff one here. Got a, got a good break with a roll. 36 uh, yards. Yep, now they're going to get the ball down, which is not bad in, into that kind of win. All right, here we are. Now, K-State again got it. All right, uh, quarterback draw. I, I, I thought he, you know, he was checking off to this stuff. And uh, I think you see him standing over there trying to hear what, the, what he's trying to call stuff, run the tail back, and you can see he's just kind of, Dipping around and, and hitting some cracks. I think Gay is a good-looking college back. I don't think a great college back, but he's a pretty good player. Okay, come down here and, and you know, got again, got a guy in a crease. I mean, whether you play two deep or three deep or man, there, when you can take advantage of it, we had blitz on ourselves right there and get to him. Chaucer Funches. Uh, okay, who else is that in there? Satterwhite. Yeah, there's a man again. You can see. Let's see, coming down here from the bottom, Funches all to start showing up right around in there, 57. Okay, there we go, men. Get a hold of him. Good play, Chaucer. Uh, again, Funches. We got a little bit of another blitz coming on from down to bottom. Okay, Woolridge, and you know, they broke the route off, and the guy got it caught. So, again, they're playing ball down on our end of the field again. Comes back and uh, forced the throw. Oh, it skipped. I, I saw it skip back over there myself. Okay, yeah, this was fourth down there. Boy, they hit a crack here, and we get out of position and miss a tackle, and they run in. So I thought this was a big play in the ball game. Yeah, I thought we had them stopped down in there. And, now they come out two point play. Good, good job, Carlos Irving. Uh, so that's going to make it what? Yeah, 19, 19 to nothing, nothing now. And you know, and I've obviously got concerns. So there they come on. He kicked the ball off the uh, field. It. Burton mishandles it at the goal line. Picks it up and runs it and gets blasted around pretty good. But you know, he still he kind of make a few things happen. All right, now trying to go deep. Boy, it's a nice throwing catch here. Great job, Ford. Great job, Robert Kirksey. Uh, again, we're we're still in the ball game. I don't think we're playing very well, but. You know, we're still very, very much in the ball game. Very important that we can make some things happen. I really thought, honestly, Jerry, as the ball game wore on, we were able to do a few more things big play-wise, which has really been hard for this squad than in, in, in really any other point this season. Okay, there's Denson again, getting positive yards. Okay, here's Kenny coming back, three-step game. They've got it covered. Okay, now we're in the scrub. Boy, there's Brad McComb. Good, what a good catch here. Just short of the first down, just short here. Uh, but a nice job, a good job, Kenny. Let's watch this. Again, this is a scramble type deal, trying to throw a three-step game. and They've got it covered, and Kenny's we, good job pass protection. Comes back, 
You know, McComb, good job, Brad. Boy, this guy's worked hard and really making himself into a pretty steady football player. Okay, go ahead, sneak it. Make the first down at midfield. Looks like we got a little bit of a drive going. All right, then we're going to come back, throw play action on first down. Going deep, thought we could get Robert down there on the post. Uh, couldn't. All right, now we're coming back, we're going to sprint out again. Let's get the guy knocked down. All right, trying to go deep. At, okay, again, we, with what they were doing, you can see they got a lot of people normally around the line of scrimmage. All right, let's get away from this stuff, see what we can do here. All right, throws this one, throws it in behind him. All right, not good right here, obviously. You know, got to be, got to be a little bit better than that. That was that. fourth down, so mm -hmm. they're putting yeah. and then the uh, problems that look kind of, yeah, yeah, okay, look kind of like the. They ruled it an incomplete pass, well, so yeah, Kansas yeah, State has the that's ball. Our, that's our 49. fault for not dropping the thing. It looks like recess over here at PS 109. It's quite honestly what it looks like. But, um, you know, okay, here he throws the ball, makes a pretty good catch. No, it wasn't either. Didn't make it, the catch. It was incomplete. All right, you go. They're rocking. Of course, they got to went there back uh, now. That one was complete. That one was complete. Um, all right, we got fairly good pressure, and he overthrows this one. So again, that's it. We're, defensively. They go on fourth and one. Bang! Right. Okay, come on, Jason, get a hold of him. Brandon Colby. Yeah, that was that was fourth and one. Second I don't blame. I, I, I saw, I saw uh, Bill Snyder's remarks to K State coach afterwards. And again, come on, Jason. And he'd have broke the sack record one play earlier if he had that. But on the same hand, I mean, we had done nothing really to indicate we could move the football much at all. Uh, but now we've got it. Well, we're going to go deep right here. Okay, well, he throws up. Just nine yards. Just nine yards. I mean, I'm just, I'm, okay, get up, get in the huddle. Let's go. All right, let's block him. There he goes. Let's see Looking what happens. Looking for Cheatwood. Cheatwood. You know, again, we're trying to fire off down in there and see just if we can make something good happen. Whoa, he was getting real good pressure here. Nice catch here. By Great Kirk. catch. I could never see anybody. These guys would refuse to give the, the touchdown sign. I, I promise you, I, I kind of got on one of them over there on the side. I said, man, I never did see a sign. Watch these guys. Watch this. Now, I hate to belabor the point here. This is, I guess, kind of ranks in there with us dropping punts or something. What these officials trying to do. Oh, that's a great catch, Robert Kirksey. Great catch. I mean, I, we're trying to watch over there and, you know, guys just kind of start waving their arms and everything. Boy, good pressure. You can see they brought that same blitz from the outside they had hit us on. Kirksey's well covered. You bet. Oh, they had it down. covered. That's just a great individual effort. Good job, Kenny Ford. Good job, Robert Kirksey. We're very much in it now here at 19 to 6. Get some momentum at the half. The point after was missed, so it is 19 to 6 of the half. We'll be back to talk uh, about what happened in the first half and look at the second half of Oklahoma State and Kansas State in just a minute. Well, it is halftime between Oklahoma State and Kansas State. The Wildcats leading 19 to 6. It looked bleak early on, Pat, but the team battled back and uh, they got the momentum going into halftime. I think. Well, again, I thought probably with the exception of the, we let them break that sweep on fourth and one. You know, they had the long drive, but I think that was as much them playing well as, as, as it was us. And yeah, we made things happen there. And, Get back to what I was saying earlier, it has been hard for this football team to generate a lot of big plays. Mm -hmm. Well, again, you're down 19, you're going into a pretty stiff win. Well, lo and behold, Robert Kirksey makes some things happen, or Kirksey and company. We've got it down there, and then we go in the dressing room uh, with a little bit of uh, better feeling about ourselves. And, you know, 19 to 6, you're very much in it. And we had done enough to kind of make us feel like that we had a chance, and we did. Well, big plays were very much a part of the second half between Oklahoma State and Kansas State. We'll have that action when the Pat Jones Show continues after these messages. As we begin second half action between Oklahoma State and Kansas State, the Wildcats have the choice and they elect to take the ball. Pat, you take the win this time. Well, we, the, again, we had the want to take the win. Win still was very much a factor. Again, you know, you got to you gonna take the win, a stiff win. You got to kick the ball further than this, certainly. But uh, you know, at, at times, again, like, like the opening kickoff, you, when you need to get them bottled up down in there and, and give them bad field position, good effort, Andre Thompson, a good effort, Cornell Cannon. We were not able to do that. Okay, now they're going to try to go deep, uh, pumped, and uh, again, for as well as as good as they looked at times throwing the ball. Sure, we were able to do some things pass rush wise. There's Gild and the company again right here. Had him covered, and he had to pull the ball down, and uh, you, you can see him. And again, he's, 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 things not happening there. You he couldn't throw. We had him covered. Now and then again, there's Jason and Satter White and, and all the crew, and, and good pass rush. Again, I, I think we're a little bit better at rushing the passer right now uh, in, in this season, quite honestly, they've been. 
in a pretty good while. I know, gosh, it was a couple years ago, I think we had about like five sacks in the entire year or something like that. And here again, Gildan ends up with 15 or 16 or whatever. Uh, okay, nice job of ducking and dodging by Raphael here. Uh, again, a good looking five or six yard run, whatever it was. Turned out to be nine. Nine yard run, you bet you. But again, consistently we had a hard time establishing some things in the running game. And, uh, you know, that's always going to make it tough on us, particularly at this point here. Again, Franks, uh, not much, but at least we're coming off the ball. Picked up a first down. You bet, and getting after somebody. Uh, well, you got to be able to hit that one here. You got a little bootleg and need to be able to hit that, certainly. Sprint draw. Okay, hits a little bit of a crease here. Yeah, we got, looks like we kind of got a drive going at this point. Again, Franks continues to play well. Denson continues to play well. We did play burying a little bit in there, but, but Raphael, again, particularly here in the second half, uh, kind of got in a rhythm. Sure, he's getting hit sometimes. This is fourth, this down. fourth down. Went for it, didn't make it. You can see that them creeping up sometimes. Boy, that makes it tough. I mean, you know, Lord, he, uh, um, tough at best. So again, now they've got it and encounter out there. You, again, if, at that point, hey, you got a chance. Fourth and one. Still in the ball game. Good job here. Good job, Andre Thompson. Okay, boy, this is a great play here by great Arthur Davis. You bet it is. Look at it again. You bet it is. Art Davis, who, is, who has come mm. on here late in the season, got him in a scramble, had good coverage, who is at Funchess, I think. No, what did Carlos Irving that tipped it? And Arthur Davis made the interception. So now, again, we're, we got the ball around midfield. Uh, we, we forced a turnover out of him, run a reverse. Okay, Burt bobbles it and picks it back up. That was a two-play sequence. We did that. They were having some problems. They flip flop their entire defensive front, and we were trying to catch them where they, before they could get lined up. And that's what they call holding or interference or pass something. Pass interference. Yeah, pass interference there. And we did. All right, sprint out, pass. Come on now. Ball got stripped, and fortunately came back to him. Okay. Midfield, right there. We need to get that one caught, and they knocked it away from Burt. All right, now we're coming back. Again, play action here. Pull, watch out from the backside. Yep, there he goes, and they got him. You know, again, I give them – okay, block we punt. turn a guy loose inside and they get they, they get the doggone punt blocked. And, boy, it, you know, again, here again, we've got a chance to kick them down on that end of the field. We're in the ball game. Now we get the punt block. All right, they turn back, give it to Gayen, and he uh, breaks one. It, I, I was starting to worry about us defensively from the standpoint that you can just kind of go to the well so many times when you're playing on your end of the field and at some point something's going to give. Well, it didn't on this play right there because, again, you have Woolridge and you know, I think it's Satter White and somebody did. All right, turn around and try to run the sweep. And, again, we've got him pretty much pinned up there. It looked like the ball came out and he got it. But, uh, again, I, I was really worrying about how long we could sustain our emotions defensively out in here when, much like we've seen all season long, you kind of had a chance to do something and didn't, all right? He comes in and, and, and right into the wind, you know, hits this one. So, so defensively, uh, considering we had a turnover, it's 22 to six, but again, defensively, we did go out there and stop. Again, they squib the ball, gets to ricocheting around here. Mark Williams feels it again. Okay, and, and, and now he gets some yards out of the thing. Let's play razzle-dazzle here. Okay, we've had this in for a while. Well, Kenny does a great job getting this ball off and then getting drilled. All right, Bird had run a stalk and go or where he actually came out and faked a block and got up and, and, and went there again. You know, Look at it. it again. Okay, Raphael, who's left-handed, turns around, throws the ball back to Kenny. They had the thing kind of halfway defended, and that guy, this is a great effort, great, really good throw here on Kenny's part. Well, and they, yeah, good catch. They had him halfway covered. But, yeah, now we're down to our trace. Like I say, we, we were able to generate – a little bit more of stuff big play-wise than maybe we had at other times. Um, you know, a little bit late on the throw. Of course, this unusually for us, even though it was cold and windy, it's, you know, we've played in the rain, I think, eight times this year, so you couldn't do much razzle-dazzle. Good job, Kenny Ford. Oh, mercy. I didn't <laughs> – I knew he had done that after the last one. I'm not sure. I've seen him do this kind of stuff. Miller, I'm talking about. <laughs> seen him do this kind of stuff out here in practice. And, and, uh, he said it. Uh, he saw somebody do it. And he just went out in the backyard and tried it and decided to go for oh, it. Oh well, I mean, he's got obviously quite a bit of leap in the belt to go for two points. Don't hit it. But at, at 22 to 12, we're still in this thing with, with a good bit of time going on. Okay. Uh, again, hit this ball. At least we got it down into the end zone. Uh, you know, good I hit. Yeah. Uh, if you get or whoever that was. I, uh, okay, Greg Williams. Okay. Yeah. Good job. He made a couple of nice hits. 
All right, Ron Butler looks like right in here that we're getting the momentum swung just a little bit. Okay, they bounce it outside. Uh, good job, Gildon. All right, Scotty Harmon knocking the guy out of bounds. Okay, now they turn and run. He hits a little bit of a soft spot, and Woolridge gets him knocked down. We needed something to happen to us in here. And Okay, Wendell, stay, that's a good job. Wendell Gaines of staying after him and getting him back down in here. It, it's, it, the game is, is obviously heated up to this point. Okay, now here he comes and, and, and throw a nice throwing catch. I think that's third down, and I think they, third yeah, and third two and, and two, and they checked to it first. And threw an out, and you've got to give him credit for that. Okay, he hits a little bit of a crack here. Uh, you know, needed, certainly if you could have forced a turnover or, or something, or stopped him on downs when you looked like you had a little bit of momentum offensively. We'd have been that much better off, but we couldn't do that. Okay, here he comes down and throws tip. Here's our, our Scotty Harmon. I think he's tied or did something with a single season interception record. Okay, Watson coming out on play action. Uh, he ends, gets set and throws. And Okay, we high throw. Good job, Scott Harmon. He, Harmon had a heck of a year. He ain't playing with a broken hand uh, and had really a good year. Bang, they hit Denson pretty good. All right, now we're coming back, and, and you can see he's under some pressure, but good throw. This might have I think that was a two-play shot there. We were continuing to do some of this. It doesn't show up on this tape, but, again, some uh, form of no huddle stuff or kind of going back like you're going to get in the huddle and then get back up at the line of scrimmage and trying to catch them with the out of substitution or something like this. All right, okay, here's Denson again. Uh, not much cooking, but at least we're, we're doing some things. We're kind of coming out and firing. Here he, here he goes here. Sprint out. Good job, Robert Kirksey. Let's get up the field. Boy, what a good ball game Robert had. Repeat, I think Kirksey ended up the day with eight catches for 130 yards or something like this. I don't know what moved him up the charts some more career receiving. 22 to 12, start of the fourth quarter. Very, very much a football game. And the Cowboys on the move. We'll have fourth quarter action when Oklahoma State and Kansas State continues in just a minute. Fifteen minutes of football left between Oklahoma State and Kansas State. The Wildcats are leading 22 to 12, and uh, Oklahoma State on the move. Pick it up first down. I think Jerry, as, as, as much if I don't know if there was one deciding play, but if there was, I think this was it. Again, we've got it on about their 38-yard line, and we fumble uh, between the uh, tail. The, I'm sorry, the fullback and the quarterback fumble a, a simple off tackle type play. And again, when we're down there in the field, and you got a chance. And here again, like I was talking about before, I, I was worried about us emotionally, defensively, as far as being able to go out there and respond. There's just so much of that that you probably with this squad capable of doing. But again, we, we come back and, and here they throw, and boy, I thought, who was that? Uh, Irving. Irving, I, yeah, from where I stand, and he almost, let's see here, good play, Carlos. Good play, I mean, this guy, or Carlos got some things he got to get better at, but I think he's had a good year, he's a pretty talented guy. Okay, hit the, hit the big tight end, Campbell, down the seam. Uh, okay, you can see run option and get the ball kicked, Irving knocks him out of bounds. You know, they, which we knew going in, they have got an awful lot of offense. They do a lot of different things, and again, their their senior guys have, have handled it well and, and really did a good job of executing. Okay, here he comes back, got some time, throws it. Boy, good job. Who was that? Woolridge. Woolridge. At Woolridge had tipped that ball. They try a field goal of 40 yards. Okay, and come in and uh, does he make it or miss Missed it? it. Missed it. Um, so again, good job defensively. We, you know, we, again, we, we came out there and got them stopped after we had Kind of frittered away an opportunity. Okay, got the ball down there, down the middle to Denson. A nice job here. Uh, again, let's see, he's kind of going to filter his way through. All right, Kenny comes back and does a good job of getting the ball out there to him. Okay, not anything real elaborate, but hey, there's our man Burt in there Picked trying well. to block. You bet, that a boy Burt Milner. That's the way to get in there. You know, turn flips and stuff. Okay, good. All right, now this, you know, ricocheted off uh, uh, Denson's shoulder pads, certainly. But uh, again, here we come back. All right. Forward under quite a bit of pressure. All right, throws this one again. I was ill-advised to say the least there. And and, and they again here they've got the ball back on our 35. Okay, good job Woolridge. Good job Satterwhite. So uh, we're we're still in there battling, still in there hammering. Okay, here he comes and throws and catches up in front of us. And I think Irving got a little bit of a lesson in a fairly refined throwing game here. Had a blitz on. You could see Irving. I'm sorry, uh, Chaucer Funch is coming around the outside. Okay, here they come. Now they're trying to going to go for the end zone. We got a hold of him right there. Okay, somebody had a hold of him, and who was that? Wendell Gaines. Gildan. 
Okay, Wendell, come on, Wendell, get him Wendell's down. Wendell's in there, Gildan get him. Yeah, I know it. Wendell, after Watson all day long, okay. All right, now they come back, you know, run the ball, hits a crack, oh gosh, we just miss him right there, Art Davis. Okay, now they're down to the 10 yard line. Come out, give it off again. Okay, breaks a tackle, runs down to the six. But so that got him a first down. Well, again, you know what, you were starting to get a little bit sloppy in some regards tackling, which is kind of what happens when you just have to battle away, battle away, battle away down there, you know, unless you've just got somebody totally out personnel, which we obviously don't. So they've got the ball down to the one. Okay, run a play. You know, I have yet to figure this out. The, you know, the one guy is signaling touchdown. I, I you know, I don't know. Here's a, they bounce out to the outside and, and score here. You know, no question. They, they wave one of them off, and again, I hadn't figured that out yet. But you know, touchdown, 29 to 12. Certainly got it's tough now again going into this win. Uh, we got Scott in the ball game. We traded possessions here. We pick it up uh, on the on the 20. Well, Later like I say, we're behind 29 to 12, but it's not over yet. The fireworks start happening right here. Okay, he's off race. Backside corner, did have a very good angle on him. See, there's 32. Finally got Denson knocked out of bounds down in there. Okay, let's see. We got Rod Sanders in at fullback. Okay, nice job of blocking. Okay, now let's turn it on and go, which he is. Again, the guy had, they did have a real, real good angle on him from the backside, but uh, again, anybody without a real good angle, he's going he's gonna to outrun. But now we're down to the 15-yard line. Again, Denson went over 100 yards. First time we've had that this year. Okay, almost had that. Bird almost had that one. Got Brent Scott in the ball game now. Okay, he's sitting throwing. Okay, right, let's get it down, Bert. Uh, Bert's doing a lot of things. Okay, here we go. All right, boy, nice throw and catch Robert Kirksey. Good job, Brent Scott. Good job, Robert Kirksey. Uh, let's watch Robert right here. Good job here adjusting the route. Nice throw. You know, we got down there and scored pretty quickly, heck of a lot more quickly than we have at most times throughout the season. Yeah, it's a 10-point ball game right now, and who knows? Um, you know, we, we're, we're onside kicking here, and this is not a, you know, I think there are four and a half minutes left or something in there, right. which is not ideal, but, you know, again, you got to try to do it. Okay, we're getting a little bit sloppy right in here, tackling, come on, men. Uh, okay, now they come back and try to run another little old counter play, and, have nothing going, so um, all right, there he goes again. They're obviously being pretty conservative. You better tackle better than that, Arthur Davis. He's wearing down a little bit at this point. Uh, so let's come on and go. All right, there he's, oh, hey, okay, boom. Big hit by Mike Clark. Let's watch this. Again, I, good job, Mike. You know, right there, five minutes left in the guy's college career, and boom, there he goes right there. Good job, Mike. A lot to be said for that. But they come right back. All right, now we've got this thing covered. It, again, a matchup was... Yeah, we got a linebacker running with a guy in too deep coverage, and they, they got in there. I can't really fault Chaucer because he had the guy covered, and they made a great throw and catch. Well, boom, they've, they've rebounded. Now it's 36 to 19. And, uh, again, short kickoff right here. Greg Williams gets this ball and makes a pretty nice-looking little old run. We're going to get up around midfield. Um, and here we got uh, Brent Scott back in again. We're, we're throwing every down. And, okay, got him. You know, flips this ball out there. Okay, there you go. Is that L LG? But... We've now got it across their side of the field. Okay, LG in at tailback. Okay, Brent's throwing deep. Okay, good job, Cheatwood, of getting that ball away. I mean, they know we got to throw. We know we got to throw, and they've still got their people in the ball game, and uh, Brent overthrew that one. All right, here he goes again. He's, uh, that's okay. He's, okay, he's, all right. he got sacked. I know it. They had, him co they had us covered. And, and take a sack. Okay, here he comes. Come on, fullback. Fullback got beat before. Good job. Watch Robert get this first down and get out of bounds. Good job here. Beat the fullback a couple of plays ago on something. All right, now let's uh, Good job, Robert Kirks. That's a way to get over there and, and get the first down. That's a way to be aware. And Robert has had a great, great senior year. Great senior year. All right, throw it out there to, to Mark Cheatwood again. All right, and he's okay. Watch out here, man. Uh, 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 none of that. That's okay. So let's go, all right, now you're trying to throw the fade again. I'll say this, you know, Burton and Cheatwood, and those guys are not very big, but they certainly don't back down to much. Okay, Brent uh, as Barrett overthrows that one. Again, I just curious as much as anything to watch him operate down here. That's a way to set and throw. All right, let's watch him right here. He's going to start. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd try to say I'd turn some flips because probation's over with. My hand wasn't hurt. But okay, good job, Brent Scott. Good job, Burt Miller. Here's a repeat of the same play. Okay, good job, Scott. Got uh, Burt got inside of him, bounces off the goalposts, and 
We're going to see him flip flop again. All right, let's watch him go. I don't think the officials know where that's excessive. It's not taunting, I guess. You're just seeing a youngster that's happy, that's made a good play, and that's that's okay. He's not taunting anybody. Just out there turning flips. 36, uh, 26. Finally beat us by 10. We score right there in the ball game. We'll wrap up uh, the Oklahoma State Kansas State game with the Pat Jones Show continues after these messages. Well, my Pat, we mentioned earlier in the show that uh, this game was kind of like the way the season has gone. Never gave up, scrapping all the way to the end. Well, I look back at it, and again, I, I, I don't think there was a real one-play turning point, unlike some other games we've had this year. But again, when we were down there, uh, first and 10, their 38-yard line, you're uh, it's 22 to 12. And again, we something that should be handled correctly. It's not high-risk stuff. You know, we mishandle it, you know, it costs the game, you drop a punt and punt snap and all this kind of things. But, uh, you know, I look back at it and, and here as far as this ball game, and again, Denson goes over 100 yards. First mm -hmm. one of those we've had, and we've had all the great tailbacks, but Denson got something done in, in the last game of his freshman year. Gildon breaks O'Neill's single season uh, sack record. And you're talking about a guy that has been all pro. I mean, Gildon's not there yet, man, he stretched imagination, but he's got a chance to, to be pretty good. you got Burt Milner, has big catches, turns flips. So, both guys who are through with their eligibility, uh, Robert Kirksey, Satterwhite, guys that have got quite a bit of eligibility left, doing some very, very positive things, which I am proud of. And again, when we come back, we'll talk about a few other issues. But uh, sure, didn't win the ball game. Can't fault us as far as the ability to fight back. Coach's Corner is next on the Pat Jones Show. Stay with us. Welcome to Coach's Corner. Each week at this time, we present a question to Coach Pat Jones to get his response. Pat, not only is the season over, but the sanctions for the last three years against your football team over. It's a new beginning. What's next? Well, again, I think, and I'm going to spend some time this week because I think it's important, Jerry, for, for our people, and I'm, I'm saying Oklahoma State people, people who are concerned with, with Oklahoma State University football and this institution to, to, to know what direction that, what our plan is, mm -hmm. you know, what my plan is. We, and I have on purpose thrown out some things during the course of the year. This is what a Colorado did. This is what a Kansas State did. And now we're to that point. And, and, and so I'm going to this week spend some time with the media people and, and, and there's some things I'll share I'll have to talk around a little bit. But on the same hand, what are you going to do? How are you going to go about it? Uh, what's your timetable for getting some of these things done? And i got a lot of things really – going on in my head now. I mean, I have got a plan. Now, again, again, I'm going to kind of, it's not anything secret or unique, but I think that's important to get that out there. I mean, just, you know, people who are around me know me. I'm just going to sit and watch things happen. So, hey, I'm going to get out there and get going. Already am right now. That's what's going to transpire this week. So what the coach is saying is hide and watch. We're coming back big time. Well, we'll be back. You know, <laughs> I promise you that. We'll be back to wrap up the Pat Jones Show after these timeouts. Coach Pat Jones mentioned a couple of minutes ago about a new beginning. The three-year sanctions against the Oklahoma State football team have been lifted. Pat, what's it been like for the last three years now? Well, I think, Jerry, again, that, sure, I've run the full spectrum of, of emotions. In a, in a three-year span, we've gone from winning 10 games to losing 10. I was watching the youngster from Michigan last night give the kind of the Heisman mm -hmm. pose when he ran the pump back, and it, yeah, and it reflected back to me a little bit. And it, You've had a Heisman Trophy winner. You've lost a Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, I was sitting there seeing, I saw the SMU A&M score flash up there, and, you know, there's not but a couple of us in this country going through that sort of thing right. to that degree. You know, and, and, and you're 65 to 6 or whatever it was, and, you know, I haven't had to go through really a lot of that. I mean, we, we've kind of, I think, maintained the dignity of this program through the last three years. I mean, we've battled, we've fought hard, we've gotten some things accomplished. Now, in no remote way is that acceptable for me. Not anything remotely. Now, on the same hand, yeah, we've got these three years are gone. Let's get out there now and, and dig it out. I've, I've made this analogy before, Jerry. It's, it's like us, me for a head coach, or us for a football coaches, like you're at the starting line and somebody's fixing to fire the gun and let's go run the race now. You know, we've just kind of survived the last three years. So now, hey, let's go and let's, let's, I know the players feel this way. They're very anxious to get going. We'll start 
this week. Uh, again, we'll get into this. We're already into the recruiting end of it. We've had some youngsters in official visit-wise. I think I've got a fairly good uh, pulse on how that's going to go. And I think we're doing the right stuff there. So, hey, let's get going. we got the full number of things out there. Uh, and I would like to think people out there feel the same way. Hey, I want to go back to bowls. I want to go back to challenging for championships. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Well, I think the word dignity is a great word to express this football team. Our thanks to you for being with us. And we hope to see you again next year on the Pat Jones Show. <laughs>